Hey everybody, we got the 6x6 Defender and we're going to be installing some style, some strength from the guys at S3. Got this, uh, this sweet bumper right here and we're going to be putting it right up in here. So it's going to look really nice. Um, we do have a different winch. We're going to be pulling out this perfectly good worn winch, but we really want to get the actual Can-Am winch installed on this thing just to show you guys how well that thing can do. I know that all of us pretty much know that worn is a staple, but we wanted to throw that 4,500 pound winch on here directly from Can-Am so you guys can see how well that thing works too. So yeah, let's get started on this bumper. Pretty stoked. All right, so with this, I forgot to mention, this S3 bumper comes straight from Can-Am. You cannot actually get it from S3. You have to go on their accessories website at canam.brp.com and this is where you can pick this thing up. Um, I, I also forgot to mention, which it's not really gonna pertain to what we're doing, this, act this bumper actually comes with a higher winch mount. You can put it up here instead of having it down here, but that's mostly for mud guys, and we're not gonna be taking this thing in any mud, not like in the south, that is, not Arkansas, Texas, none of that. I mean, we might hit some wet sand, but that won't matter for this. So when we go to install the 4,500 pound Can-Am winch, it's gonna stay right down here where this worn is right now. So let's get this thing going. So sometimes we're pretty genius and we're pretty sure we lost the instructions or for some odd reason it didn't come with them. But luckily we can kind of build a race car so we think we can put this bumper on. Um, it comes with just this normal hardware. We got some spacers, um, some grade eight bolts. Look at that. So this thing's gonna hold on real nice. And some thick washers, locking nuts. So this is gonna be pretty, pretty simple install. First thing we need to do is we need to, we need to remove this, this front grill. It's just clipped in there to expose these. And this bumper actually has, don't know if you can see that or not, but it's got two mounting holes right here. And those just happen to line up perfectly. All right, so we got these removed, as you can see. Um, just a heads up, if you go to install this bumper, you take these bolts out, there is uh, what the hell did I even use here? There it is. 13 millimeter. We'll take that nut off on the back. The front side's a 30, a 30 Torx. So just so you know, there is a nut back there. It took me a minute. All right, so I mocked put, put this thing up here because we do have these spacers like I showed you earlier. These longer bolts, you can see that we have two sizes of bolts lengthwise. And the longer ones with the spacers are gonna go right up in here, just to give it a little bit of spacing away from this, this, uh, this front fender here, this front cowling so you can space it out so it doesn't, so it doesn't look like it got punched in the face. So, Longer ones up top with the spacer, and then two nuts. The two washers are gonna go down here on the bottom. Pretty pretty sure that's where those are gonna go because it's got these slotted holes, and these washers should hold a little bit tighter there. Alrighty, it is done, and I didn't think the Defender could look even meaner, but it does with that S3 bumper. One thing I really liked about this bumper, by the way, and kudos to the guys at S3. It's really simple, I know, but they actually, I don't know if you can see up in here, but they slotted these holes 
so you can actually line it up really nice but uh if you're wondering about the torque it's probably a thousand pounds on these bolts because that's what these uh these hands will do that's what they're rated for but uh just kidding just tighten them by hand just get them hand tight you can use power tools um kind of like my friends here on my socks so anyways that was it super easy install um really love this thing on the defender just made it look so much better made it look more aggressive and this thing's built really nice so kudos to the guys at s3 and like i said you can pick this thing up directly from can-am you cannot buy it from s3 but uh yeah can't wait to throw some more s3 stuff on this thing all right i forgot so we're probably now that this bumper is in here i'm probably gonna have to notch this grill out a little bit because we want to retain this because i just think it looks more finished instead of having a hold on let me grab my light instead of having this hole in here put in that being able to use this again it's gonna look really nice but as you can see right up in here i don't know if you guys can um just running out of room right there so we'll get this the stock grill trimmed up a little bit and slap it back in there so it looks all nice and nice and finished it's gonna look good